how's it going guys welcome back you're probably wondering what's going on where we're we going well I'm just going to meet somebody and uh, every now and again we meet people that make an impression on us let's try and get out of here yeah we meet people that make an impression on us and uh, we become friends with them uh, we trust them trust their, their uh, you know we like the values and we get on really well no matter how long it is you know from time to time we don't see each other uh, every time we do meet we have a good crack and uh, you just pick up from where you left off and uh, this guy uh, he's been involved in some of the past projects video projects we've traveled abroad together to a few events he's a race winner quite a well-rounded rider in terms of trials motocross enduro hard enduro type events and he's also one of the older guys as well i think he's got five years on me now i'm 58 now so he is i think he's 63 now it's either 62 or 63 uh, like I say, he's still winning races even now at the uh, you know in his early 60s. And uh, like I say, somebody's got somebody I think I've got a lot of time for. I always make time for him, and uh, he's always been there for me if I've needed him. He's helped me out on, on a couple of occasions. And uh, yeah, he's a good guy. Let's so let's let's go meet him. Friday afternoon, typical Friday afternoon on the M62. How's it going, mate? Alright, how are you? <laughs> a bit warm, isn't it? Good to see you. Nice to see you, how are yeah, you? Alright, yeah. Um, thanks for this. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm yeah. not camera running, obviously, but, you know, but uh, I'm just being sort of saying on camera that um, I've asked you because I value your opinion. I like, uh, you know, I trust you. Yeah, yeah. And you'll give an honest, unbiased see, sort see of go, can't we? review of the bike, that's all. Yeah. You know, it's my bike, obviously, we're going to be riding. Yeah. And. Um, it's set, nice. it is set up yeah. for me, but I just wanted someday, like yourself, somebody who's still winning races, how old are you, 63? Yeah. Yeah, you're still winning races. Still, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just somebody to have a go on it and just, it tell yeah. me, and just tell me what you think. I'd be interested. I've never really seen one, to be honest. I haven't looked at them. There's nothing yeah. about, is there? No, there ain't not. There's, they're, on, they're only yeah. sort of thin on ground at the moment in the UK, the 300s. Yeah. Two stroke ones. Yeah. So, well, let's get organised. Try it out. Yeah. All right. Can we go down? Oh, we go for a go for a bit of a trail ride, yeah? Trail ride, and then we'll do the same trail ride and swap. Then we yeah, yeah. It's a good comparison. Yeah, yeah, it? absolutely. So, I'll take you for a ride. 20 minutes and something. Yeah, sounds we'll good. Two bottom and two stream and round yeah. and we'll swap it. Okay. Awesome. So you've probably got the gist of what's going on now. Mark's gonna do a test ride on my bike and just give his honest opinion of it. So, so you can get you guys can you know get an honest you know honest opinion of the, the bike. I might not 
be doing some of the stuff what he does, but he's a well, like I say, he's a well-rounded rider, he's Mark. Fast rider. Um, so, might be quite hard to keep it up with him at times. I was going to do a bit of a trail ride. trail, 20 minute trail, then he's going to take over and ride my bike, and I'll ride his, he's on a Gas Gas 300. suicide mission This is Mark's usual habitat is this. So he knows this place like the back of his hand. Making some easier line than he is.
over. Yeah, that's the time, isn't it? Same lap then. Yeah, well, I might take a few different lines to you, but you yeah. try and stick to the same lap so I can get you on video. Then we'll... I can criticise the praise. Yeah. That's it, well, we'll talk about it when we come back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I, can, I can get a feel for this as well and just see. I mean, I've got mine sort of. Why does it, look, it feel low straight it's away? It's lowered, the bike is lowered. Oh, is it? Yeah. That feels slow. Yeah, it's lowered. So this is standard standard height. No, I've had it lowered, that. Yeah. 10 but, down, 10. Yeah. It's but higher I've, than that. Yeah. But I've got it set fairly soft as well. Suspension's plush, so you, you know. Um, so I like more slower sort of technical type riding. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think they're pretty, well there, yeah, I think they're pretty much the same geometry. Yeah. Um, let's do it, let's, let's ride mate. You tell the difference between carb and TPI. Yeah, red clean up. Yeah. Even this bike's got a bit of a hollow noise to it on the overrun.
Ah, got it. I've got extreme mousers in there. Oh, have you? Yeah. Unless it's tyre that's hard. So, yeah, it's interesting to get your opinion on stuff. Yeah, it's mould around it, doesn't it? Yeah, so, I mean, that, that, those are standard tyres what came on bike. Right. So I've not changed them. But then it just kicked it, didn't it? Yeah. Where well, that'll absorb into that route. Right, so maybe a bit of rebound. Well, no, I think the tyre's the problem. The tyre? Yeah, that's them right soft Michelin's with it. Right. Really soft noses. Yeah. Uh, but you pay a price, don't you, for... Well, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, carry on. Let's go up to the top, finish off at top, yeah? Okay guys, we've just come back from our bit of a suicide mission. I actually mentioned <laughs> the suicide mission when we were filming on GoPro. But um, like I said before, Matt, thanks, thanks for doing this. It's uh, like I said before, I, I appreciate your, your honesty. You've got good integrity. I, I appreciate your uh, your honest opinion on things. And I value that. And I know you've been there for many times, but I've needed a bit of help with things and you've, and you've really sort of yeah. come through and shone. And, um, and on top of all that, you're riding 
uh, skill set is just pretty well. It's unbelievable from what, from what I can say. Anyway, <laughs> it's 63, and you do you're still winning events. You won the the vests at Spawnton Quarry a couple of weeks ago, didn't you? Yeah, yeah extreme. Well, um, I enjoyed that. Really, really good. You're nice and flowing, and it won't you won't come around thinking, oh, I've got to go up that again. I don't want to do that. Yeah. It was good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Just talk about your your motorcycle background. You've done trials. Yeah, I did trials. I mainly done enduro. Really, I started road riding, and then. I could really never afford them till I got probably with kids and everything to my late 30s, 30, 30s when I was 30 years old I started and I just got hooked on it then and uh, I just rode enduros all the time and then our Gavin got to age where he, he overtook me and got better than what I won then I, he did world enduro stuff and I went with him yeah. to world stuff with Mick Seward he took him round and after that I kept riding and then Will Wanted somebody to go with to help him out at his world events and that story really. The enduro stuff, he's had enduro stuff, you know, we've been to Ligaris together, we've been to Wurzburg together, you've been, I think you've yeah. been to Wurzburg as a rider, have you done that? Yeah, I've done Wurzburg, yeah, I got qualified, but uh, I was on fifth row and I just struggled with queues and traffic and it wasn't, wasn't my real race, I didn't, yeah. I wanted to get on with it and get going. And you've had podiums at Ligaris? Yeah, probably every, every time I've been I've, I've had... Uh, I think about first and a seconds and thirds, yeah. 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 I enjoyed yeah. the guys. It's just last one I did got a bit hard. It was what they set out for um hard enduro series and they left the same track after COVID up. And uh, I think me, Will and Burtz went and rode it, but it was a long, long day. It was twice length as normal and yeah. I knew about that and we had a ride around Tongue this, this this early afternoon, as it is. You rode your bike first and you've had a go on my bike and I've yeah. had a go on your bike as well. Interesting to compare the bikes. Um my, my my GPX 300 against your 300 gas gas, which is a what is it a 21 bike? It's a 21, yeah. Yeah, 21. Yeah. And uh, I do like the way it rides. Yeah. Your bike, obviously, you've got it set up. Especially feels nice and everything, and tires and. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I crashed it down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. If I've broken out, let me know when you get back. I don't care unless you're not going to throw that as much as I've thrown it and it takes it. Right, let's go, let's go up to the top, finish off at the top, yeah? <laughs> it's, it's not first, not last crash you allowed. <laughs> you did leave yeah. mine a little scrape, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We both crashed. I've asked you for that specific purpose to come in and have a go on my bike and tell me what you think, so. I tell you what I think. Hit me with it. Well, I, I really come with intention of being critical, really critical with it, because I just, I just thought, well, the Chinese are imported Chinese things. They can't be. How can they compete with big mass market? Um, you know, I didn't. So I, I thought of that originally. Anyway, I mean, to be honest, the quality of it and the, the parts on it, really, they look. I was surprised. Really, I'll have to eat my words on that. It does. To be honest, to me, it's like a copy of a KTM on its engine casings, even its gasket colours are green like rest. It's little stuff you notice, its bolts are all the same, in the same area, the same size bolts yeah. and that. I did notice that cylinder head looks like it's an uh, barrel's TPI one, must be an early TPI, because they've got all casting marks in, so they've obviously been copying or have rights to make it, I don't know, I would imagine. Yeah. And nobody will confirm or deny. No. If they've got the patent, and what I'm told is that they're doing things properly. Yeah, uh, I know there's quite a few disclosure agreements being signed by people. Yeah, so yeah make your own mind up on that. Yeah, it's too close to KTM for them to allow it out. Like that. I can't see any real differences myself, to be honest. Apart from that, there every part's been remanufactured without uh, brand names on. 
Um, now we'll get to riding. We did the same track, we, we set the same loop out so we could just swap straight over and, and change. Um, I did still think it's not a KTM. Right. It rides nice. I'll not. I'll not knock how it rides. I think it does ride nice, and it and it and it's it is. I can't really say I didn't like this. I didn't like that. But it's just it doesn't even to me feel like a like a sixteen, seventeen. It feels a slightly older right. to me, um, and mainly I think that was because it's it might be its carburation. It's engines, it's not vibration, no vibrations like a 16, I don't like, it's, it's nearer yeah. balance shaft engine, this one, I think it's probably yeah. the same engine, I don't know, balance. yeah, and it's, it is smooth in that way, but it's just, it's not as lively from bottom end, it has plenty of bottom end that will drag you up out, but it's not that nimble where you can like a flick it with a trials bike and, and make your front end and make it go where you want, it, it was yeah. just, it's numb in that way, I so, thought. Do you think that could be a carburetor? I carburation think, issue? yeah, if it were mine, I'd go down carburetion. But will you ever get it TPI because they've come on that much now that they are good yeah. now? And you, can you compare it to a T? Is it, it's unfair, probably. You can't, can you? No, it's unfair. You should be comparing it to a 16 bike, which, or a 17, which, yeah, it's probably it's nearer that. I wouldn't say it's not yeah. a, a, like a latest KTM. Yeah. And I wouldn't knock it saying it's, it's no good. It's. I would say it's more like a 17. Yeah, a 17, but I still don't think it's as... It's got the bottom end of it and all that. I just don't think it's as lively with that. But that's I think that's carburation issues because I didn't notice up some of the hills we went up. It was it was choking a bit, coughing a bit. Right. I don't know if you know, it's the outer back. But other side of it, suspension, it's a little bit hard for me because it's been set up for you, but I can tell the basis of the suspension really would be as good as any bike off road, really. It's, it were good on that. I can't... Yeah. Knock it on that side of it. Uh, it's it's handling. It didn't feel it heavier. There were nothing in that way. The, the brakes were fine. It's great what brakes. The only thing I can say is I say it, it doesn't have that instant snap that I'm used to it. Gas gas now. Yeah, that's which it. made it feel slightly slower turning at front and stuff. And I think with TPI, which is good. You know, the, the development, the technology now is really good, isn't it? The guys that have been riding TPI for so long have forgotten what a car bike's like in yeah. some respects. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's three or four years since I've ridden a car bike. Yeah. I can't remember, and it, and it might have been the same. Uh, but I think there's quite a... You can do some improvements on it. I think yeah. the carburetor does need yeah. looking at yeah. that. But I think they've probably gone that far with TPIs that they are so good now yeah. that you do feel that big, big difference, really. We were in the uh, the stream at the bottom, and we had that little bit of a spill. And you talked yeah. about the tyre, yeah, and moose sort of set up. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? What um, well, for me, that the tyre didn't mould round stones and round roots enough. When when it when it it's like a bit of a sponge when mine it moulds round it and, yeah. and, and it'll grip and go up it. But I mean, you're paying a lot of money for them Michelin tyres. I'm super wow. soft. That's like a medium soft tyre. Yeah, on it. which if it were uh, an extreme enduro, I wouldn't ride with that because it's deflecting off first rock gear and it knocks you off balance for the next one. Yeah. Where mine will, will, will absorb first one and it'll drive over the second yeah. one then. So, so it's that's, a rebound one. Yeah, that, that's soft yeah. and you wouldn't get it out with adjusting suspension. It's definitely a tyre issue with that, definitely. What's interesting is that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, from my perspective, I've, I've jumped off a 2019 TPI onto that and I, I did... Like I've said before, I feel I feel at home on it. Yeah, I feel happy riding it. Yeah, you know it gives me a smile. That's yeah, what it's all about. yeah, it yeah. It's, it is smile. good, and I was surprised. That, well, it, it must be a copy of KTM because there's no gaps between gears. There's no false neutrals. It's just yeah. exactly like me twenty one gas gas rides in that respect. Yeah. It's just that it's it's carb. And uh, we've moved on since then. Yeah. Which so, you can't have everything, can you? With no, price no. you're paying. Yeah, and it'd be interesting to sort of. Uh, for some news, riding a cab bike at the moment, like, like say a, uh, a Sherco or a Beta, yeah, to, to have a go on that and see how it would, you know, compare performance-wise with theirs, yeah, wouldn't it? Well, I've I've rode Shercos and myself round here a few times, and it's same again when I jump on them. They feel 
a bit strangled to me straight away because I'm not used to them. Where I suppose everybody when they jumped on TPIs originally, they said they were too fierce and vicious. Yeah. You just get used to yeah. and make and make that into a, an advantage for you then, don't you? When you've rode them for a bit. I mean, I could, I could notably feel the difference between your bike and my bike because of the the fueling on yours. Yeah, it's you know, so... it like instant. Yeah, yeah, but I think that that's what then makes the bike. A little bit harder to ride because you've, you haven't got that flickability that you need. I sometimes and... like that little bit of a delay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like, There's times I like that. I just like to set myself yeah. up sometimes and get my rhythm yeah. going a bit and then go. You like get sources for courses, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. In terms I'm... of rider style and rider ability. Yeah, I, I mean, I could go out and race that, all right. I'd be no issue. I wouldn't, it's not, you know, it's not a little bit of modding with calves and a bit of playing about and, yeah, yeah it'd be that. The ideal. Yeah. Well, you ought yeah. to be riding it well, didn't you? Yeah, well, I didn't... To be honest, I was quite surprised. I mean, sometimes you can jump on a bike and you think, I don't want to ride this. Yeah, no, it's, I was quite surprised, really. I'll, I'll, well, it's a KTM, isn't it? Let's be honest with you. But I think, you know, looking at the, you know, the engine and stuff, it's actually the 20 bottom end, what it's got in terms of... Yeah. The, it's uh, casting with the, the bigger water pump. Yeah. And, but like you say, it's just the carbureted version of that, which makes it like a 2017 bike. Yeah, yeah. No, I think they're onto a good thing with it, really. If you've seen my five-part video... I am, to be honest. For the guys that are watching, it's all in there. There are a few little personal tweaks which I've done, which I'll cover in another video, actually. Some just very small, minor, detailed things, you know, in terms of how I've ruined my throttle cables, things like that, how, how I've fastened my clutch cable to frame and to keep everything neat. Yeah. Really, so nothing's rubbing or wearing or anything. Right, you yeah. Know. Yeah. Um, that's, you know, it's all personal little touches, yeah. what you make to your bike. Making sure all jubilee clips are in the right place so you can access them. And yeah, with your middle of nowhere. Yeah. What do you think when you've stripped it? I mean, you'll have stripped it down, you've stripped plenty of KTMs down. Does it I look no complaints Does it look very similar underneath yeah, when you get yeah. it off? You know, in places there isn't the polish. Looking at a bike what's now yeah. four thousand pounds cheaper. Yeah, you can do a bit of Austrian. polishing yourself for that guy. The Austrian bikes have got the, the TBI and all the rest of it, which is fantastic. Yeah. You know, for the guys that want who are striving to be sort of the upper echelon sort of riders. They want the best bikes. Yeah. But No, I think there is a marketplace, is, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't you couldn't you wouldn't know any difference. Right, no. Yeah. Yeah. My only complaint at the moment is uh fuel com fuel uh efficiency compared with TPI, so, to, you know, riding a TPI yeah. are very fuel efficient. Yeah. This one's not quite as fuel efficient. But I think that's because it's, it's running rich, isn't it? That's why it were a, a bit... A little bit rich. Yeah, that's why it were a bit, uh, like, fluffy for me, trying to get up. Yeah. We're not long, long hills sometimes. Then again, the gearing's different as well. Yeah. We're on standard gearing, yeah. we're on 1250. I thought the gearing Sorry, were all right, though. It, we did them tight cut, uh, turns on them hills that we were doing yeah. earlier to compare, and it... it it pulled. It's right. bottom end is, is, I would say, the actual bottom end is, is stronger than the gas gas. It's actually, but harder to sort of get it to snap up when you want it to go. It's, yeah. it's harder in that way, but it's, it's a stronger pull. Yeah, so you might want to load flywheel a bit more and just... Well, I think yeah. that's just how cars, bikes are. They are stronger. It's, you're not going to get that out of a TPI. Right. But I think with a, some playing about with that car, right, then that you all right? Yeah, well, I'm really pleased that you enjoyed riding it. No, I did. You know, it, um, yeah. And to be honest, I, you know, I felt confident coming here, like you would do, because other people have rode it and thought, yeah, this is nice. Yeah. And it's just like, it's nice to get another person's perspective um, yeah, on camera. Mean, and yeah. like I say, like I said, you, you are a well-respected rider locally and obviously mm -hmm. you know, you're, yeah, and abroad a lot of people don't know you yeah and it's just nice for, to get somebody like yourself it's a pleasure to, like, yeah. to get somebody like yourself do actually having a go on it yeah it's been no i've enjoyed it I, I, to be honest it has taken me a surprise a bit than what i would expect <laughs> in really I, just, I, I do the, the finish is good isn't it really yeah can... one of the things that i do see with um the bikes obviously we we, we sell these bikes at eurotech and there are some uh, packaging anomalies with some of the bikes when they come in. The bikes come in a crate, boxed up. Right. So in one crate you'll get the bike and it'll have, you know, lower, lower, let's say handlebar rises and things. The next bike, in the next crate, might have high ones. There's some slight inconsistencies with some of the equipment that's on the bike. 
So that's uh, a packaging aspect for them to deal with in, in China. And I think they are dealing with it, they know about it. I know that Gary Goodwin from GPX has been over there discussing quality control and uh, there has been a few little issues with some of the early engines, uh, which I'll talk about in another video as well, but there have only been, as far as I know, a small handful mm, of, of issues, yeah. that's power valve issues right. that have been sticking. But, thanks again mate. Right, Robo, well, well, thanks for letting us have a go and thanks to Will for <laughs> yeah, afternoon yeah, out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks to William Hall for yeah. letting us use Parkwood, that's great, alright. Cheers mate. Thanks. Thank it's a pleasure. So there you go, a bit of an interesting afternoon yesterday and me and Mark are by no means finished. He wants to ride the bike again and more so when I've adjusted the uh, the carburetor and based on the discussion we had, it's just a, a, a move of the, 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 you know, the needle, the clip on the needle to position one. He thinks the jetting's good, but it's just uh, a needle change, making it a little bit leaner at the bottom will make all the difference. So that's the next plan of action for this bike and as Mark said in the video he was he was surprised about the quality of the bike, how it handled, what the bottom, you know, he said the bottom end's good, stronger than, a, than his gas gas. Um, Mark has no vested interest in, in GPX or what we do at Eurotech, so it's just nice to get his totally unbiased opinion of this bike, you know, when this bike was announced to be coming to the UK, this TSC 300, there was a lot of hype and uh, people said it'll be too heavy, it'll be stiff, um, it'll fall apart etc. It's not the case, it's totally not the case. This is a performance machine and uh, it's like anything, if it's sell bright it will do everything and, and Mark said to me yesterday this bike will outride 80% of the riders out there. 80% no problem at all as it is so that's something to think about but for me at the moment I'll be back soon I've got a week's holiday now I'll be back uh, we've got a two-day uh, private session at Wurndu coming up at the end of the month and um, I'm out on the rally bike tomorrow for a bit of a trail ride so that's it for me at the moment back soon with an update on something else stay tuned hard enduro and adventure media at Eurotech and on Robo's GPX dirt bike page. See you soon guys.